Now let's apply all of our concepts of long division in this final example. We can see we're dividing by a 2h plus 3. And then I'm going to put my polynomial inside. I see x point of 3, x point of 2, x point of 1, and it's 0 exponent, so I'm not missing any terms. So I'm just going to write it as is 2h cubed minus 5h squared plus 22h plus 51. Two terms, so I'm going to go over two terms to write my first answer, and then I try and eliminate the largest term possible. So what do I multiply 2h by to get 2h cubed? And that would just be h squared. Distribute. 2h times h squared is 2h cubed. My h squared times 3 is a positive 3h squared. We want to subtract these terms, so let's change their signs to the opposite. So this becomes a negative and plus a negative down here. The first term is going to cancel out. And now you have negative 5h squared minus 3h squared, which is negative 8h squared. Drop down the 22h. And again, look at your first term. What do you multiply your 2h by to get negative h squared? And that's going to be a negative 4h. So distribute negative 4h times 2h is negative 8h squared. And negative 4h times 3 is a negative 12h. You want to subtract those terms. So let's change our signs to the opposite. So the negative 8h squared, 8H squared becomes a positive. The negative 12h becomes a positive. And so the first term will cancel. And you have 22h plus 12h, which is 34h. Now let's drop down our 51. So if we take a look, we want to eliminate the largest term. So what do you multiply 2h by to get 34h? And that would be a positive 17. And distribute. 17 times 2h is 34h. 17 times 3 is a positive 51. You want to do the opposite. You want to subtract them. So let's change their signs to the opposite. So this becomes a negative 34h and plus a negative 51. The first term is going to cancel, and 51 minus 51 is 0. So I have a remainder of 0, so I do not need to take it in consideration when writing my final answer. So my final answer is just what I had on the top. It is h squared minus 4h plus 17. So I hope you can see that when doing long division, the key is to make sure you organize your work. You see my h squareds above my h squareds, h is above h is, my constants above my constants. And you can see the pattern of the process used to divide a polynomial by a binomial by using long division.